anywhere from twiddling your fingers to tapping your feet to even feeling your blood pressure rise. And when it gets severe enough, you can even experience an anxiety attack, which is also known as a panic attack. By a show of hands, does any, has anyone already begun to feel the anxiety put on us from school? <laughs> Luckily, with method, methods, we can find ways to overcome these levels of anxiety. Anxiety is a state of psychic tension in some forms of mental disorder. In other terms, when you set yourself up to believe a certain, to, when you set yourself up for a goal or a deadline, and you begin to fear that you just might not reach that goal or deadline you begin to feel a little bit paranoid, and then you start feel, putting anxiety upon yourself. This will cause <clears throat> fear, nervousness, apprehension, and worry, which will also build more paranoia inside of yourself, which can, which can also lead to um, what is known as an anxiety disorder. It can even begin to change your daily routine. Freshmen in college are a very big target of anxiety, mostly because changing your lifestyle, beginning to cope with finances and balancing schoolwork can be very difficult and it does take time. Medline Plus updated one of their articles in 2011 and it stated that, <clears throat> that 40 million people every year that are diagnosed with anxiety disorder and of the 40 million, 7% are college students. Another article that was updated July 10, 2012 on Medline Plus, which is named um, Math Anxiety Takes Big Tolls on Girls, stated that although both males and females score equally on math, math scores, females tend to have higher levels of anxiety. There are different ways to, pre to prevent, uh, prevent anxiety, building up anxiety. The first, way, the, one of the first methods is time management. You build, upon, you build a lot of stress upon yourself when you find yourself always cramming homework and you feel like, okay, I only have a couple minutes just to write this paper that I was supposed to write a week ago. Time management is key. Also, staying healthy. It's good to eat healthy and keep, um, keep up with your sleep. If, if you find yourself having to pull all-nighters for about four days in a row, you're gonna begin to feel, you're going to begin to feel stressed, tired, and a little bit sick. So it's really good to create a sleeping pattern. When you find yourself dealing with um, too many levels, when you find yourself experiencing very high levels of anxiety, it's really good to seek help. You're not the, we are not the only ones that are experiencing anxiety. There are other people and there are also um, specialists such as doctors and psychiatrists that specialize in mental disorders such as anxiety. We can go to them for help. And they also, and sometimes when, you're, when your anxiety reaches a certain level, you might have to begin to take antidepressants. One of the most commonly known antidepressants is selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors. What these do is that they're like, they're pills which you take and they relieve, they relieve um, some of your anxiety symptoms. This, um, this happens by um, by um, by blocking reuptake um, of serotonin from your from certain cells in the brain. <clears throat> I hope that you have learned some some methods that you could incorporate into your everyday lives and learn how to reduce some of your levels of anxiety. And also share this information. <clears throat>